Well, it says I'm live, so um, you can't believe what it takes uh, to set up for one of these. Holy Hi, Seth. This thing is having trouble staying connected. We'll see what how we go. Um, hi, Lonnie. Uh, you can't believe what it takes to set up for one of these. I I have a twenty point checklist that I have to go through for to stay on. Uh, if you're getting, uh, let me know if you're cut, this is cutting out, um, because it says it might be, um, and if it is, I'll have to reconnect in another way. Uh, but so let me get my guitar tuned and set up. Cindy, can you tell me if this is cutting back and forth? It says it's cutting out, but it's every time somebody shows up, it says it's... Are you say it's cutting it's cutting in out a lot? See? Okay. Uh, if it keeps doing it, I've got to reset this somehow, so I need your help. Ah. Uh, what I need, there's a, oh, here's the white cord. Is that what's happening? Okay. Um, that means that I got to go this way, which I had not planned on. There's always something. Must be trying to connect through the TV, and it's not, you know, the internet thing. It's not not doing it well, so I have to reconnect with the Ethernet, which means I lose all of my stuff. It's a buffering problem. Hopefully, it's still going in and out. I wonder what's happening. Um, I'm having a little bit of an Ethernet problem, but I think we'll get it. I think we'll get it fixed. We'll go along okay. We'll do what we need to do to get this done. So. Um, Sometimes things don't happen the way you rehearse them. No, I'm good. So welcome everybody. Um, um, 
Tonight, tonight we want to focus on obsessive thoughts, and right now I'm obsessing about the fact that the equipment isn't working like I planned it, and hopefully uh, we've corrected part of the problem. Uh, you'll miss some things, but not much, because uh, I think I've got things set up the way that they, they should be. Um, uh, but you don't get any of my good acoustic stuff. Ah, that's too bad. But we're going to go. Welcome, everybody.
Hope you enjoyed that and I hope the sound was okay because it's not set up the way I set it up in practice. Uh, isn't that always the case? I'm going to do a little bit of a reset and see if I can get something going in the room. Hopefully not a loud squawk. Well, we're in. Uh, while, while I'm tuning, uh, can you guys do something for me? Can you post negative obsessive thoughts that come to your mind? Um, for me, I'm always looking, I'm, I seem to crawl in other people's heads and look at me through their eyes and it's not in a negative it's not in a positive way I don't know if anybody else does that but you might um, but uh, if you've got any of these let me know I've got You guys hear me okay? Uh, just uh, let me let me uh, get some feedback from you so I know that uh, you can hear me okay because that's important. Um, oh yeah, financial security, health challenges. Yep. Ah, oh, it's not going to work. I'm going to fail. I'm not cut out for this. Always going to the worst possible outcome. Oh, no, no kidding. Almost said no shit. Yeah. You hear me perfectly? Oh, that's, that does my heart good because this is not the way it was set up to practice. And I'm not going to bitch about it because I'm just glad to be here with you guys very much so. Um, and I wanted to start out. For me, um, the, the issue always starts, though, with my own soul knowing who I am, what I am, and uh, knowing that I'm okay on the inside. And uh, 
Last time uh, in our last uh, uh, episode of this live performance, um, uh, I did a song and the chorus of the song uh, said, uh, uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with me and there never was. And I want to, I, I want to focus on that. Yeah, Jeff, I get it. Betrayal. Absolutely. People are going to leave. Yep. Um, but I want to start with the teaching that I got from one of my elders, and I'm holding up an eagle feather, one of the guiding feathers of the eagle. And this is a healing feather. And if you think it's legal because uh, Cindy, my wife, who's the carrier of the eagle uh, medicine, uh, is a tribal member of the Stockbridge Muncie Mohican tribe. Uh, so she allows me to have this. But I want you to picture this. Uh, we're sitting around uh, the sacred fire. And the crowd is rowdy. Uh, the elder can't get them to come in tune. But all the while he's sitting there and the crowd around is rowdy. Uh, he just sits there and he strokes this eagle feather. And uh, he's very quiet, you know, he says nothing. And about, about 10 or 15 minutes, the, the group starts to get the message. And they quiet down, and you could hear a pin drop around that sacred fire. And he says, you know, our life is kind of like this eagle feather. It's got a beginning and it travels down a road, and then it narrows at the end because life is harder at the end. <sighs> he said, but you know what? I've always had trouble with that I was born a piece of shit. Now, I don't know if any of the rest of you were taught that, but I was. And he said, no, no. It's the purity and innocence of our lives that we go after. That's who we are. That's who our soul is. Pure, innocent, and beautiful. Not tainted. And all these prongs that go out to the side, those are simply our mistakes along the way. Those are the ways that we learned and we come back to that central part of the feather the red road, the spiritual path. And so I want, to, want you to carry this teaching with you uh, about the eagle feather. We weren't born a piece of shit. We are beautiful. And we're on that spiritual path. with an idea from Hinduism. Nataraja, that God is the dancer who dances everything in and out of existence. And it ends with an Ojibwe phrase. Nimi Idiwad, Nimi Idiwad, Anishinaabe, Nimi Idiwad, which means, see them dance, See all the people dance. Nataraja, Nataraja, Hara Hara, Nataraja, Nataraja.
friend Kathy Ballman is going to keep plugging in some more positive things for us to think about as we go along this trail. Nataraja, Nataraja, ha. Nataraja, Nataraja, Hara Hara, Nataraja, Nataraja. sunrise and I felt free I saw the sunbeams they danced like diamonds across the waters and I felt free I saw the sun path reach toward the heavens the waters I am free I was born
Nataraja, Nataraja. tonight and I hope you do too I really do thank you guys I, I love the responses um, uh, thank you David uh, Eber uh, appreciate it uh, very much and Nick Miller uh, gosh uh, we gotta have coffee sometime I have no idea where you are <laughs> but, you know uh, and uh, just thank all of you for showing up tonight and uh, I got more you know, as I was thinking about this idea of obsessive thinking, I, I think what happens to me, and maybe it happens to you as well, is that um, when thoughts start creeping into your head and you don't want them, we try to dam them up and we try to stop them. Or at least I do. I'm not going to speak for everybody in the group. But, uh, you know, try to, try to stop those thoughts from happening and, or feelings, you know, which we, we may consider as as, uh, oh, you're not that far, you're in Manitowoc, okay, all right, gotcha. Uh, we're not that far away when this stuff blows over, whenever it does, we'll have coffee. Um, but what I'm thinking of is the, um, the idea of damming up, and, and I thought of the story of Achilles in uh, the Trojan War. Uh, his, his lover is killed by the Trojans, and so he starts, he wants to get even. So he, he, he checks out, uh, oh, Jeff, Jeff Olson from Fond du Lac, I gotta tell my story here. Uh, so um, 
he's so angry, so angry, so furious that he just starts indiscriminately killing the Trojans. And uh, he kills so many Trojans uh, near the river that it dams up the river. And he's standing in the river and it's, it's all dammed up with these people. The river gets pissed off and then the dam breaks and the river comes at him and he's fighting a river. And what I thought about thoughts and feelings is don't fight a river. It's too big. You know, sometimes we just have to let them wash over us and then float down the river. And, and that just, that whole idea. And then, of course, then that took me to a whole uh, arena of songs about rivers. Uh, one that I wrote and one that I recorded of uh, a guy named Roger Miller. Um, I love that, David. Our global virtual spiritual community is a blessing. New York City. So glad to have you here. This is amazing. Um, Go with the flow, Nick. That's what, that's what I mean. And, and that means with our thoughts, too, because, you know, we try to stop them, and, and that just dams them up, and they get worse and worse and worse. And so we just let them flow through. Let's let them go. a metaphor. This was uh, a song written by Roger Miller way long time ago. Which Miller? My wife is a Miller. Roger Miller? Bill Miller, too. Uh, my wife's cousin. Who introduced me to the flute. And I found this song of uh, Roger Miller's, and um, it just moved me because I was born and raised on the Missouri River, so big muddy. And I used to stand up way up on the hilltop, and I'd look down on the river, and it did look like a long white train. So this is the river is life. River in the rain. Sometimes at night you look like a long white train Winding your way away somewhere River, I love you, don't you care But if you're on the run Finding some place Just trying to find the sun Whether the sun shines Whether the rain the River, I love you Just the same But sometimes in a time when you're out of hand and your muddy bubbles roll across my floor, carrying away the things I treasure. But 
Sometimes in a time of trouble When you're out of hand and your body bubbles Roll across my floor Tearing away the things I treasure River in the rain Sometimes at night You look like a long white train Winding your way away from me Yeah, Jeff Olson, shout out to Bill Miller. I wouldn't be playing the Native American flutes had it not been for Bill. And uh, also the, uh, um, you know, a lot, uh, he's been an inspiration uh, to me. He's my uh, wife's uh, first cousin. Um, her dad was Frank Miller, part of the same family as Bill's dad and, uh, and Bill. So, um, I think, I think, it's, it's kind of, you're getting the flow of things, and I am too. It's, it's like life, life comes on us, and, um, and a lot of it we, we have no control over, probably all of it we have no control over. Um, and I wrote a similar song. Uh, this is the first song I ever wrote. I didn't know anything about a chorus at that time, so uh, this is just all verses, but it tells a story because I had a paper route when I was a kid up on the river bluffs overlooking the Missouri River. Yes, indeed, I'm a hillbilly. When I was a young man I would watch the river flow I would go upon that hilltop and look at that valley down below watch that old muddy river flowing lazy to the sea and I'd look into the red sunrise and ask the Lord What's gonna become of me John and Jerry driving On the river road below In their 57 chairs Hey, Jerry, how fast do you think this thing will go? They hit the tree of flying Doing a hundred and ten That was their last ride John and Jerry Will never ride again Right. 
night But something went deadly wrong Cause I ain't seen her Since that night take care of a little business. Uh, there's a PayPal either up or down uh, or in the news feed uh, or in the feed, uh, either one. Uh, sure appreciate the help along the way. Uh, this musical journey has uh, taken some interesting turns lately and um, actually I'm grateful for them. Now those of you who are used to me being a chant artist, and I am that, uh, I'm, a, I'm a kirtan leader and, uh, but I thought for this medium that I would um, throw in a few of my other things. It really gives me a chance to uh, showcase stuff that I've been doing for years and years and years. And, uh, and, and, and I like that. And, but I want to get back to a chant. And, and when we were teaching chant, you know, some of the last uh, gigs that we did as Thunderhawk Tribe uh, were at the Allen Oak Club in Milwaukee. We'd have 80 to 100 uh, people out uh, singing singing their heads off, but they, 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 they had no idea what we were doing with uh, mantra chant. Uh, so, uh, so we thought of a way to, to teach them the, the mantra chants, and, and it's by not using words. Uh, so we use ooh-ah. And uh, the great thing about this is that uh, everybody can do it, and it still short circuits the brain, which is part of what we're trying to do is to shut down the brain and open up our hearts. Uh, that's, what, that's what Kirtan has always done for me. It shut down my thought process to open up my heart, and uh, which I have really appreciated. So just a little ooh-ah with me. 
Now, I can't hear you singing, so you got to sing loud. Uh, Jeff Olson's down in Fond du Lac. He's only, you know, 45 minutes away. I should be able to hear him. Nick Miller's over in uh, Manitowoc, so I should be able to hear you. Uh, you got to sing loud, David, from New York. this because I forgot. To, I, uh, uh, where am I? I am in Nina, Wisconsin, uh, right in the middle of COVID country. Understand, we'd lean on that with an eight-piece band for about <laughs> a half an hour. Uh, Kenda, good to see you uh, over there in Menasha, just a stone's throw away from where we are. Um, uh, I, I normally we do this at the beginning, but I'm doing it at the end uh, this time um, because it's the it's the ultimate clearing out uh, to call on Ganesha. Um, the elephant head God, and um, you know to clear out obstacles. Now, uh, it's just this is an idea. It's kind of like having a tank in front of you, you know. And uh, 
we've got a lot of obstacles in front of us right now, and and I would love uh, to be able to be part of clearing those out, and um, so. Are well, you going to be in Mequon uh, for Thanksgiving? Well, good for you. You're not that far away from me um, at that. At that, but well, with uh, COVID cases, I'm just staying cooped up here in the house and uh, enjoying my wife. You know, being on the road as a musician was fun, and I enjoyed it a lot. But it's been so good to uh, get to know my wife again and my dog Jack, and uh, stay home and create some music. Vakratunda Maha Kaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Kuru Medeva Sayurakara Yeshu Vakratunda Maha Kaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Kuru Medeva Sirakara Yeshu
something uh, that we haven't done before and um, and to bring, that's to bring Kathy Ballman on board uh, theoretically you can do a split screen so um, Kathy I'm not sure how to do this I see you right there so I'm gonna press it and see what happens nothing happens uh, I think you have to request don't you you there Kathy if Kathy requests uh, she will come on board with me if this doesn't work it doesn't work <laughs> but we thought Kathy wants to be on your video. So here's Kathy. Should be. Okay. Approve. And uh, she's, she's our singer. I wonder if you call response musical. Just curious, you know? That's all. I'll do a uh, tune up a gum gum gun up in a morning. It's your turn. Uh -huh. So evidently the sound's off. Uh -huh. So I've got a picture. We've got no sound. Say something, Kat. Uh, no talking. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there you are. There you are. Uh, Kathy and I were here, and we just put up a website. Uh, so, Kathy Ballman, B A U M A, and uh, and she had some good stuff on the thread last night. I'm so proud to be with you. Uh, you know, these projects work together on. And uh, you have some good work, folks. Uh, can you actually hear me pretty good? Oh, yeah. okay. You're cutting out, but I had you on my TV on AirPlay because I was jamming with you. And so I think when I switched it, I messed up the sound on my end. So if you can hear me, um, that's good. Uh, but I could hardly hear what you said. But anyway, uh, yeah. So, you know, Dennis asked me, hello, everybody. I'm Kathy. Uh, Dennis asked me to throw some mantras in there. And, you know, I only did the first one, Dennis, because... Since you did job, you had the whole show, you know, you had us all captivated, so I kind of didn't want to distract from your stories and all that, and I thought it was just awesome, so. So you were asking for watching me? Yep. Oh, that's, oh my God. <laughs> dancing, 
you know, I had a little party in my living room, so it's pretty pretty cool technology. Oh, that, and Kathy and do some things. We'll let you know that on this. But we would like to up on ideas of what soaring and uh, you know, shame our thoughts are and our and so we were following up on it. I wanted to introduce you to Kathy if the technology worked and it does. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, so you'll be seeing more of it. So I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. Uh, I enjoyed being with you. I look forward to these a lot. And in two weeks, up to bat. I don't know what the date is. I can find that out. Uh, two weeks from now is uh, on the 20th of November. Then Julia Coach. I are doing a kitchen table on the 19th of, of November. Keep, it, keep track. Send me, send me your email. I'll put you on our email list. Uh, uh, or you can uh, make sure that you keep in touch on the Dental Talk Artist Facebook site. And your is what, Kathy? Uh, my webpage? No, your, your, your Facebook site. Feel, feel good? Yeah, no, so yeah, you can find me on Facebook at Kathy Bauman. Uh, if you find this here, my there's a link to my um, my business site and my website as well. So you click on okay. Okay. kathybauman.com. Um, pretty simple. <laughs> well, see you all in a couple of weeks. Thank you so much. Bye.